Hi, this is the Balkan Architect and in this tutorial I will show you how can you change parameters for multiple families using Dynamo. So here I have this house which has a bunch of silly windows and let's say I want to align these windows and I want this top part of the windows to align. So to do that I would have to use the align tool. The shortcut is AL and then I would have to tab find this spot and here and then align it and then I would have to do that for all these windows and that's really really a long time so I'm going to show you how can you do that for all of these families using Dynamo. So we just need to change the one parameter and if I select any window you can see if I maybe make this a bit larger you can see we have some parameters here we have the level we have the cell height and the important one is head height so that is basically this height over here and if we change pull up a window a bit higher you can say it changes so we need to have this head height the same for all of our windows so to do that I'm going to open up Dynamo so I'm just going to go here on the manage tab go Dynamo and it will open up I'm just going to go new graph and now we're in the Dynamo interface so first I'm, I need to find basically a function that changes a parameter and that will be set parameter. So I'm just going to type in set and let's see set parameter by name. Okay that sounds like something that is useful. So here we have basically the set parameter by name and as you can see we have to input an element, a parameter name and a value. So first for the element I'm just going to go select model. So we have here select model element and select model elements. And I'm going to use the select model elements because we have basically more model elements. So I'm going to drag this one over here. Then for the second one is parameter name. And you can see here it says string which means basically you need to input text and text in a programmer's term is called string so I'm just going to type in string and here we have a simple string so that looks like that and we have a value here which is a var or a variable and for that we can either type in an exact number or what I like to use is a number slider so I'm just going to go number and number slider and pull it over there. Okay, now we have these three elements so I'm just going to connect everything up. And first for the number slider I'm going to open it up but before I do that I forgot here you, you can see it says automatic I'm just going to open this up and go to manual. This basically means that whenever we change something Dynamo will not be automatically running the function it will wait for us to go run and that minimizes the chances for basically the program crashing for, because when Dynamo crashes Revit crashes as well. So I'm just going to open up this number slider and for the minimum amount which will be the height of this window over here I'm going to set up 1.9 meters and this is in meters by the way and for the maximum amount I'm going to go with 3.9 because this wall is 4 meters high and for a step I'm just going to leave it at 0.1 which is 10 centimeters that looks okay so I'm just going to select it like that and for the string I'm going to go back to Revit for a second select the window and here we have this parameter head height so we need to type it in exactly as it's called it's cap sensitive so be careful so head So I hope I didn't mess that up. Okay, and now we have to select model elements. Now you can see if I go select, I can go here and try to do a window selection, but I will not select windows only. I will select both the walls and the roof, and I don't want that. You can see it probably selected a wall as well. So in order to avoid that, I'm just going to minimize Dynamo for a second, and I'm going to go back to Revit. I'm going to do basically window selection, select everything, go to filter, 
check none then I'm going to check Windows go apply OK and then here on the temporary hide isolate I'm just going to go isolate element and now we have isolated all of the windows and now it's quite easy to select windows only so I'm going to bring up Dynamo again go select select all windows and you can see it selected all of them and we have all of our parameters set up so I'm just going to reset temporary height isolate maybe move Dynamo a bit over here scroll this so we can see everything so we can see Windows, we can see Dynamo and and as you can see all of these windows now have the same head height and we can change the head height using this slider so I can bring it up a bit you can see they all went up or bring it all the way up like so or we can bring them down and now I can just save this and use it anytime I want to have the same basically the same head height of windows so that's pretty much it for this tutorial I hope it was useful I hope it allows you to make your workflow a lot more efficient thank you for watching please subscribe like and share this video and if you have any suggestions for further tutorial or uh, any questions please leave them in the comment section below have a nice day